Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make mod vents for your Gorilla Tag fan game. It's pretty easy as long as you have PlayFab installed. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on how to import PlayFab because it's really easy and there's like tons of tutorials out there. So I'm just not gonna bother making one. But yeah, let's get right into it. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have PlayFab open. Then go to your game. Go to economy and create a new catalog. Open it up, then you should see something like this. You want to create a new item. Here, I'll do it just for this. Um, wait, yeah, go, yeah, create a new item, then come back here, and let's just... For this tutorial, I'm just going to make, like, a cube for it, because it's, it's really easy to make the vents. All you got to do is, like make a ton of special things or do what I did and just put it all into one thing and have that be the object that you know you can control with PlayFab but yeah so create your object whatever you want create whatever you want for PlayFab and this is going to be like something that only you and other moderators can see or other people that you select can see then you want to, I think, go to scripts. No, it's, I think you just have to, like, hold on. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so, create a play fab login thingy and put the playfab login script on it. You should have already done this if you have playfab imported, but if not, just find a tutorial on playfab. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to assume you have this. Um, but go here, special items, create a new one, drag your cube into this area, Name the catalog name catalog in here. Then go to here, go back to your item. Wait, actually, no, go back here. Name your cube something, like anything. I'm just gonna name it like special cube. Then, alright, wait, cube. Then you wanna select all of it, copy it. Back here and paste it here, here, and here. I think, yeah. I uh, I don't think you need a description for it. You could just save item after that. Right. And go to players. Click search to bring up the list of players. Okay. Then select your player. And then, wait, go to Inventory Legacy, then Catalog, Item ID, paste the Special Cube thing in here, Grant Item, okay, then come back here, disable the Special Cube, then when you go to Play, it should show up for you. Um, basically, to integrate this into, like, mod vents or doors that you can open, <coughs> all you gotta do is make, like, oh, separate, like, a door or something, and, like, add enable and disable buttons. Those are gonna be in my Discord down below, or the scripts for them are gonna be in the Discord down below. You're gonna add the disable script to the 
green button and and then enable scope to the red button then like yeah just have it uh have those as like special things or like add those as items in your catalog like in here in your catalog make those special items then um yeah it's basically a you can just have like well i mean you can make it so that um the mod vents disappear for everybody else just as an extra precaution in case somebody does like escape the map and somehow get into your mod vents just not have them there for people to do that um but yeah you basically just need to have it so that these buttons are special and they aren't there for people who aren't moderators so yeah have a good day